It is Buffalo Eats Friday here on News 4 at 7. And Mark Goodwin's got something super exciting to talk about tonight. You see what I did there, Mark? That was really good. So we're talking Clever. soup. And we're not just talking any soup. We're talking French onion soup. So take it away, Mark. Of course, of course. Sorry, I spilled a little but right before yeah, yeah. we as went Yeah, as soon on. as he walked in, he spilled it all <laughs> over the table. I'm messy. I'm sorry. Um, all right. Our story goes back to Roman times, which is interesting, not France, as you might uh, think, because it says French, French onion, onion soup, obviously. Um, but no, it was a very common soup for like poor people, everyone, because you could grow onions wherever and it's just broth and bread. So it became super popular as like onion soup um, back in the Roman days. And then we're gonna fast forward. There's another part where people say this, it was invented by King Louis the 15th. But in my opinion, I don't think that any French king was cooking him for himself <laughs> because he came home one night at his hunting cabin and all he had was butter, champagne and onions. And apparently that's the myth, but I, well, I don't know if, how true that is. Um, and then the third part in France as well, there's this uh, huge open market called Lake. Leal, um, and it was like they nicknamed it the stomach because it was just all the food in France. Um, and then that was just a super popular soup of the workers that would work there in the morning for breakfast. Um, and just it, I just find that fascinating that they got such a long history and um, it's just such a beautiful food, honestly. Yeah, who would have thought that French onion soup had such a rich history? Right? And what I love about soup, not just only French onion soup, is that it's just such a comfort. Food, exactly. Right? Especially in the winter season. Yeah, and um, not only is that it's nicknamed the drunkard soup because of the you can add brandy to it which is my personal favorite and white wine and uh, it masks the smell of the alcohol on your breath yeah. according to history when I was doing the research you know it wasn't me yet, but uh, other people I've heard that it's a great hangover cure too. <laughs> so, so Buffalo Eats is actually doing a French onion soup tournament Correct. right tell us about that. Yeah no it's gonna be coming up the next couple weeks uh, you know we love to highlight restaurants around here and do our tournaments and just uh, just a good engagement for them you know it should be a lot of fun, so stay tuned for that. A couple personal favorites. We just this is Coles here. Okay. I brought um, that's my favorite Wellington Pub, another solid one. But no, I'm a huge just a, I'm our resident French onion soup correspondent is the joke for Buffalo. Eats, <laughs> so living up to the hype. Now, what are the kind of the different variations of French onion soup you've seen? I know I a restaurant I used to work at back in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. They did you know the classic little crock pot yes. with the soup. Yeah. They actually did a crostini and then had the cheese melted really? on top. It was very good. Wow. Oh, that sounds awesome. But like I said, like you can use brandy and white wine. Um, but the, locally, I'm trying to think of just off the top of my head, Jay's Artisan did a French onion soup pizza last year Ooh. where they'd bring it to your table and you dip it in the broth and they would have like the blowtorch and light it. It was awesome. And then Wax like, did the French uh, onion soup arancinis, which are those like appetizer yeah. bites. And um, it, was, it was incredible. So a lot of cool French onion soup uh, inventions over here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Mark, anything else before we go people should be on the lookout for from Buffalo Eats? Um, starting in January, I'll be right in for Buffalo Magazine, and our first one is going to be about French onion soup as well, about J.P. Fitzgerald's. Uh, just last note, I, I my love of it comes from my mom letting me pick off the cheese off of her crock at J.P.'s. So awesome. Shout out, Mom, if you're watching. <laughs> love you. All right, well, Mark, thank you so much for bringing in this nice soup, even though you spilled half uh, of it on the table, but it's fine. I'll, I'll lick it off the table, honestly. It's fine. Okay. Well, Mark, thank <laughs> you very much.